and welcome to my youtube channel so today in this particular video we are going to discuss how we can extract the table structure with all the information of a table from a table as it is so what we are trying to do is uh, we just take the table and we will extract the, all the information how it is given in the table and we are going to uh, save those information in a uh, csv file, file so that's what the objective is for this particular uh, tutorial so for this tutorial uh, we are going to uh, take some images of a table like like a table um, image you are able to see on the screen it's the same table that we are going to take up and we are going to just take up a few uh, models and we are going to extract the informations and put it up in the excel table excel file so that's what we are going to do so this is a table that we are going to take up as an input to the models and we are going to extract the things out from it so now to do this task we i'm going to use a, a very awesome framework which is called paddle ocr and we have very good uh, uh, template and we have very good framework uh, to use uh, the ocr techniques and to extract the uh, table information from the documents so this uh, paddle paddle ocr uh, is an awesome framework that has been de developed by some uh, some uh, people working in Baidu which is from the China uh, it's similar to the Google search and they have developed a framework called Paddle Paddle and Paddle OCR is a part of Paddle Paddle so it's just, uh, it's just uh, a deep learning framework uh, that has been developed by them so it's just like a, a Paddle Paddle is just like a TensorFlow uh, that Google has developed or PyTorch that Facebook has developed so it's like a, that framework you compare with that so it's in it's in a development process but you can definitely use this uh, framework to train your own models and extract the uh, text or even OCR uh, your text from the images and even extract the tables and exact information from the tables to the uh, CSV file so that's what you can do it from this so if you go into this particular github repo you can able to see that there are many uh, things that are available so they are trained on multiple languages as well so OCR model has been trained on multiple languages like English Chinese and there are many other uh, languages that has been trained on so you can see these are the type of uh, pages or or the the documents that they are trying to extract the OCR from it and they are trying to publish it as it is so they have gone through a lot of uh, updates recently and there are a lot of models available inside this uh, framework so if you go into this particular uh, uh, presentation that they are showing up here is uh, they're trying to show the application of this particular uh, paddle paddle so you can see it can be used on form bills and uh, uh, what are meters handwriting and formula written laboratory tests and reports so a lot of things can be extracted from such kind of use cases uh, from use case test and uh, there are also a different type of uh, uh, models that are available for text reduction, text recognition. So there has been a lot of development in uh, in text reduction and text recognition side. So uh, like East is the model to detect the text. DB is the model to detect the text. SAST is the model to detect the text. Likewise, we have a lot of models uh, for the text reductions, and these all our models uh, are covered inside this uh, library. And there are few models that are trained on this particular uh, model as well, right? So there are also text recognition models that has been uh, in in particular in this particular uh, uh, paddle framework which are crnn rosetta player starnet so these are all models and out of this uh, they have been trained on different kind of languages like english chinese uh, japanese so for, for those kind of languages it has been trained on and you can use it for uh, the text recognition and there has been also uh, a uh, model uh, that is layout parser that is uh, that is used for typically understanding uh, or extracting the layout out of the particular document so i have also made a video on this layout parser they also have this model in their uh, lab in their uh, library included in, in this particular paddle paddle framework so you can directly use this layout parser to uh, extract the text title images and table uh, those out of from the documents Similarly, we have a table recognition uh, algorithm, which is table rec, which is also called table recognition rare, and which can be also be used inside this uh, paddle, paddle OCR. And there are many other al uh, algorithms that has been used, like key information extractions and layout LM, layout LMV2. So such kind of uh, uh, latest algorithm has been included properly for 
text extractions and text uh, recognition so it's it's like a whole world of document has been published inside this particular pedal pedal and you can use a lot of things from it there have also been uh, uh, annotation tool that has been provided by uh, the pedal pedal if you go in the top and if you search this uh, pp ocr label you will be able to see that there are a lot of uh, tools available for the annotations so if you want to do a te regular text annotations you can just go into this uh, P uh, PPOCR label version 2, two tool and you can annotate your text and you can also annotate your irregular text annotations, scheme formation extractions and table annotations. If you want to, if you want to go for table annotations, so you can also go for a table annotation by using the such kind of tools. So that's how uh, you can use this uh, pedal pedal. There are a lot of things to cover inside this pedal pedal. So it might get difficult to uh, go thoroughly in a, in a single video so i will just try to explore the things uh, uh, more on this and will come up with more uh, informative videos regarding this ppl uh, pedal pedal ocr but for now we are going to just take a look at this particular uh, framework for extracting a particular use case that is uh, for extracting a table so what we're going to do is uh, we are going to use this uh, pedal pedal and and inside this pedal pedal there is uh, uh, there is one a folder called pp structure so this is pedal pedal structure where we gonna be using this pp structure uh, to extract the table so if you go down and try to see so this is what they're trying to do here they're trying to extract the table by using layout parser or layout uh, recognition that that already we have seen in the, in the past videos so that's what it is trying to do and here they are also trying to do is visual question answering by using layout lm models so this PP structure uh, uh, contains a lot of uh, uh, document analysis part where table extractions and uh, heading extraction, title extractions uh, and uh, visual question answering part is taken care. So this PP structure folder uh, talks about that. So if you go inside this PP structure, you can get all those uh, uh, folders as well like documents. So in this documents, you will have a lot of uh, test images uh, to test on it. You don't have to worry about that. But we have this three tab three folders. One is for layout. So this particular uh, layout folder will have all the information like how to take the uh, particular layout of a particular uh, document. Uh, like layout means uh, how to extract the table, image, title, uh, figures, such kind of information from a particular document. So that's what the layout uh, folder will help you for that particular task. And in this particular table folder, uh, we have a lot of uh, you know, table recognition things that is happening, which we'll be discussing about it. Uh, how we're going to extract the by using this table uh, folder uh, and we also have this visual question answering you can see there are a lot of uh, visual question answering models and how what other the models has been used and how they are trying to train up the model so you can go into this and you can install the dependencies and start working with the model even you can uh, train a model by using this so there are a lot of uh, steps also being told here and you can just follow these steps and you can definitely want to reach to the Objective that you want to do with the visual visual question answering, and similarly, it has been given for all other uh, folder as well. So for table also, they given uh, the models and how to use it. Even they have given how to, how you can prepare the model uh, to train on your own data set. Uh, so they have they, you can prepare the data set uh, by using the annotation tool that I have discussed just now, and later on you can prepare your data set for uh, extracting the, ta uh, the tables or extracting uh, text from the tables. And that's how you're gonna follow this uh, all steps, and then you can just take up this uh, models and uh, train up models, and you can use this pedal pedal to get the extractions out of it. So that's also you can do it. But for this particular video, I'm not going to train any kind of model. I'm just going to use the model whatever they have provided, whatever they have trained on it on their own for different languages. So for this particular tutorial, I'm going to be using this uh, pedal pedal. Uh, OCR and inside that PP structure and we are going to use the table part of it. So if you go into this table and you will be able to see that there are a lot of models. Actually once, once you talk about the table extraction there, there are uh, many things that has to be taken care. So uh, when we try to extract the text from the table and uh, get the structure of a table as it is on the CSV file there are a few things that, that, need, that we need to take care. So first thing is there are plenty of models that, that will work uh, parallelly when we try to extract the text from the table. So first thing uh, is like uh, first thing we, we want to detect. So once you are given the image of a table, so first thing you would like to detect the table part. 
so where the table region is located then from that particular table detection so for that particular task of table detection a one table detection model will run then second task would be to extract the text out of it right so for extracting the text first a text detection model has to run and then over the over over that text detection model you have to run a text recognition model so now you can see the complexity of this particular task like there are many models that are learning and then once you have the table detected and uh, text rec recognized then what you have to do is you have to understand or predict the uh, number of cells there in this particular row. number of cells number of rows number of columns there in the particular table and that's that's how a single another model will run over that particular table to do all this processing and populate that all those results that has been uh, done by all such kind of models and accumulate into the csv file so that's all four to like three to four models will run parallelly to achieve such thing so just understand the complexity of this particular task is just not very easy to prepare the model by a, by its own so make sure that you once you start doing or once you start um, preparing the such such kind of models make sure to calculate the errors you get to get in each and every kind of models right you are using inside this particular uh, framework so uh, this is what a general framework i can help you to understand even that flow has been explained here in this particular uh, uh, image that you can see in the screen so in this particular table structure what they are trying to do is they are taking up this image of table and they are taking they are doing a text detection over it and also you can see they are also using a table structure prediction that's what i was, even i was talking about so two algorithms are being used here and now once a text detection has been done so it they will crop the text regions from where the text has been detected and then they will do the text recognition model so they will run a text recognition model to understand the text part or ocr the ocr the text right and then parallelly if you see they are trying to create the table structure and they are trying to rebuild the uh, cell coordinates and uh, columns and then once this are predicted the test recognition and tells uh, cell uh, the cell coordinates that has been predicted are being uh, co collated or combined into such format in a similar format as you can see on the screen and then it will be formed into the or it will be saved into the excel file so this processing is being done uh, by paddle paddle or already it's been taken care you don't have to worry about it so you can just utilize all those models that has been developed by paddle paddle ocr and you can use it directly but but let's uh, let's check it how the performance it is uh, it's on on the data set that we have and uh, we'll we'll come to a conclusion whether we we can use it for industrial level use or we can we have to train our new models uh, but but the structure or the flow of the particular structure that particular paddle paddle is following is uh, is it is it's, it will remain the same like how it is it has been shown here in the image so now uh, we'll go we jump on to the coding part and we'll see that how this particular thing is happening it it won't be shown much but this is the what this is what would, it will happen at the back end so let's go into the uh, notebook and we'll check how the things will happen right so here i am with uh, uh, collab so first thing uh, you have to import or you have to git clone the paddle ocr uh, you know, github and then once you have cloned it so you can see the paddle ocr on your uh, on, on your uh, machine on the collab machine and then you have to install the paddle paddle uh, library by using a pip install and also you have to install the paddle ocr library so two things you have to install once you have a uh, uh, git cloned the paddle ocr and once you have done then you have to just go into the directory uh, pp structure directory inside the paddle paddle ocr and then you have to download all the models that i have just talked about so if you see the first model is all about uh, is all about uh, uh, english ocr model uh, that is a detection model so it is a text detection model and then uh, in the next uh, step we have to download the uh, text recognition model and the third step we have to download the table uh, rec structure identification model right so that's three models we are going to download even if you see in this particular image we are trying to use three models 
one is text text detection model one is text recognition model and one is a table structure prediction model right so these three models we are trying to uh, utilize it inside this particular uh, library so that's what these all three models are getting downloaded and once we have this uh, model downloaded because it will take few seconds to download so i have already downloaded my uh, uh, in my particular uh, machine so if you go into this uh, paddle ocr all the models uh, that you will download it will get uh, saved inside this inference folder uh, which is there in the paddle ocr and if you go into this uh, uh, paddle ocr and then if you go into this pp structure and if you click on this inference all the models that you are going to download from here it will get get saved inside this pp structure slash inference folder so once you have this model all the models downloaded so text detection table structure uh, prediction model and text text recognition model are downloaded then you can proceed for the prediction so what you have to do is you have to just uh, uh, take up a one file that is uh, predict table pi file it is present inside this pp structure and if you go inside this table you can see there is a file called predict table dot pi pi file so we can use this python file and pass all these mod models that that we have downloaded and also pass our uh, image uh, the table structure image uh, and we, have, we can also pass our uh, output uh, where we are where, where we want to uh, save the uh, csv file so this uh, print table uh, python file will take care of loading all those three models preparing a proper framework for you and uh, extracting the relevant information from the uh, table image that you are going to provide and then it will also save uh, the output in a form of csv file so this is the job of this particular predict underscore table dot pi file so if you go into this particular command that i'm going to show you uh, you can see i'm pass i'm i'm loading up this predict dot table pi file and then uh, it has that argument dot detect model dir model so uh, we are going to just pass the uh, the detection model the text detection model that we are going to use here and then we are going to also use the text recognition model that we just downloaded at the book right and then we are going to use the table uh, table uh, prediction model right table structure prediction model that we have downloaded so all these three models we have downloaded so we are we are just passing the path where it where it has been saved and now we are finally we are passing the image directory so what kind of images or you can pass a single image or you can also pass the uh, directory of images from uh, in, in this particular uh, argument and then here uh, you can pass the recognition uh, uh, character recognition uh, path so like if you if you're trying to use uh, english or if you're trying to use chinese so there are various dictionaries that are present inside this particular path so if you go into this ppocr utils dictionary you will be able to find a lot of a uh, lot of uh, text uh, related to information like uh, character uh, related information like a b c d or some chinese characters so a lot of dictionaries has been prepared already that is for the ocr part so this part is for ocr part and then later uh, you can also provide the uh, limit length detection limit length and uh, minimum output how much minimum output you want and then finally you have to uh, give that uh, give the output uh, folder name where you want to save the uh, uh, output that you that you are going to get from the uh, from this particular model in the in the CSV file, right? So this is this is where the, our CSV file will get get saved. So before we run into this, let's just see what kind of image that we're going to pass, right? So I have already uh, imported the images here. So let me open those images. So this is the first image, table one. So this is the first image that I want to pass into this, and we'll just visualize. Visualize how this particular table is coming out as an output, right? So I'm going to pass this particular image here. So let me take up this uh, path and pass into this particular model path, right? So I'm going to pass here. It's gonna take a little, it's a little weird. Now let me paste it here and let me just run this particular code and it will automatically save the uh, extracted output in a form of csv so it's going to save here in this particular uh, pp structure and this output folder is there and inside this there is table folder and this is the way the output has got saved so we have to just download this particular folder and we'll just download this 
and we'll visualize how it has saved the results so let me open this and we're gonna see so this is what the output we got from this particular uh, model and you can see it has saved everything like how the table is present it has saved everything uh, now let me print that image side by side and get this excel file also right so this is what you can see right so it has got category uh, it's a, it has missed so it's a problem of OCR uh, text title so it is missing few of the things uh, because of that OCR error and dev uh, toast and a lot of so I can see there are a lot of uh, issues with the OCR but I think uh, it can be retrained on such kind of data set uh, with with proper uh, annotations and uh, and uh, but I, I think the table uh, extraction model is working very good because it is able to understand and the uh, structure of it but this is what uh, we are trying to do right so we can change the OCR models and uh, we can just get the right predictions I think they have also come up with a new set of uh, trained models uh, right now I'm using very old versions of it but definitely gonna you can use the different OCR models prepared by the pattern OCR and you can just change the path of a detection model and recognition model here in this in this part in this, in this code so you can just go and uh, check out the PPOCR uh, part where you can so if you go into this pedal OCR and if you go into this uh, PPOCR and uh, if you go into here so you can see there are a lot of models available and uh, You can download you can download the models uh, that are available right here 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 you can see there are a lot of models available for English and other things so you can download this particular models ultraviolet light model for English they have developed this is these are recent models that are available for detection models and classifier model and recognition so we want just these two models detection and recognition models so you can use these two models uh, for our inference so these are latest models and then you can use these models and download it here like how we have downloaded here and then you can just paste it paste the past path of this particular direction model and recognition model here and then you can uh, do the inferencing again so you can you you can get the better output that we just got right now we just take up the second image and we'll try to pass out and we'll check how it is performing on it right so we'll just take up this image copy path and we'll just pass into this particular image path and now we'll just run this particular code again will take few seconds to get the output so we might see this output here in this particular output folder so let it run uh, and inside this table we have this table too so let's download this particular table and let's just open this right so you can see this particular part okay now let me open this image right side by side table 2 this is the image and this is right so this is the image that we can see let me uh, uh, check out this okay so I can definitely see that there is a uh, issue with the OCR but I can see that the model is uh, the table structure model is able to get the things right and it is able to save the all the structure in a right format only thing I can see is it is failing with respect to the uh, table uh, OCR so um, I think it has to be improved uh, by using the latest table OCR so if you go into this particular PP OCR or PP structure um, there has been few models inside this table if you go inside this and you can just check uh, where the table uh, models are present Go down and check. Yeah, I think here. Yeah, so here you have this PP structure, and you can see that we have used a, a PP OCR uh, two version two detection models and this model for our detection and recognition. 
I think they haven't uh, updated this list, uh, the latest list. But once this uh, version three has been updated uh, from from version two, uh, it will be able to direct the right uh, uh, right text format. So we can also use our own OCRs, uh, but that will be very very difficult to do. But definitely, if the image quality is very good, then we can get the right and good results, right? So, uh, so this is this is the framework that we can use and try it on our own data set for table extraction. So, as you know, uh, for table extracting, there is a lot of effort that is required, like training of two to three models. It becomes very difficult to understand and uh, do it. But by the way, you can uh, if you if you if you are very uh, eager to understand the things, you can use a, a, a Tesseract OCR, and also you can combine the Tesseract OCR with this particular table. Uh, recognition model so you you, you have just uh, you have your own uh, OCR and you can use this paddle OCR's uh, uh, table detection model so it will use those two uh, settings and you can just uh, grab those uh, information and get the output in the form of CSV file so that's also you can do it uh, but uh, this is the this is the framework that I wanted to introduce you that there is also a way to do it uh, so this is a paddle paddle way to do and extract the table uh, from the image documents right so I hope you enjoyed this particular video. Uh, if you like the content, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.